Okay. Hey guys, Bluefin Hundred back again with another video, and it's been a while since I made a video. Well, two to three weeks to be exact. But if you guys haven't seen my community post that I posted a week ago at the time I'm recording this video, I unfortunately got sick, aka I had the you know what virus. Yeah, but thank God I'm fully recovered and I can go back making videos again. But yeah, as you can tell by the title, yes, I'm doing another 3D printed uh, HMS Beyblade unboxing, and I got these Beyblades from Instagram again, and I got this from a user named Benchblade. So if you guys want to check out his Instagram page. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check out his Instagram account. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so let me just take this out of the frame for a sec. And here are the 3D printed HMS blades I got. Yeah, so I got a Dragoon MF and a custom made Poseidon MS. Yeah, uh, so I'm just going to open up Dragoon MF first so then I can show you it. And yeah, look at that. Really, really nice. Well, and yes, he did provide me with a extra uh, running core tip. Just in case if this one like somehow breaks or is like really worn down. So yeah, really neat. Just gonna put this on the side. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. And of course, let's go ahead and showcase the Poseidon MS. There you go. Apparently this has two modes to this, uh, but for now I'm just gonna stick to this mode instead. But yeah, really, really nice. Just look at the detail on this. Wow. And yeah, so I'm gonna go through uh, the parts for each of these uh, blades. Okay, so let's do Dragoon first. Wow, really, really nice. Okay, so we got the attack ring, really nice. And we have the uh, bit emblem or bit plate. Kind of wish that uh, for Dragoon MF, I know this was only exclusive to the manga, but I really, really wish that Takara made like a secondary bit piece because like I mentioned before, the Dragoon emblem and the other uh, Bit Beast emblem just looks generic looking and it doesn't really look impressive as compared to the Bit Beast. We also got the, uh, I guess, sub attack ring. Yeah. Really nice. And we got the weight disc. And the running core. So let's go ahead and assemble this again. And there you go. I'll probably get a like another sticker sheet for this, just so that I can have a spare one. Also, if I get really tired of this uh, manga bit beast emblem, then I can just replace it with an actual dragoon bit beast. Which, speaking of which, uh, Taylor Blades did make a uh, dragoon MF a sticker sheet, so I will be getting that very very soon. And let's go ahead and disassemble Poseidon. Okay, so here's the uh, bit emblem again. Really, really nice. The attack ring. The weight disc. And the uh, running core. And there you go. Just making sure I did it right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna put this beside the Beyblade. So let's go ahead and do comparisons with the other HMS Dragoon Beyblades and the other Poseidons I have. So first off is Dragoon MS. And of course the 3D printed Dragoon MS UV from uh, Lee Owen. And putting these side by side, both of them look really, really nice. And now for Poseidon, here is of course uh, the 3D printed uh, Poseidon G which both of them look really, really nice. And last but not least, the toy version of Poseidon. But yeah, those are all the comparisons I have to show. So let's go ahead and test spin both of these blades. All right, so I'm gonna be test spinning both the 3D printed Dragoon MF and Poseidon MS. So I'm gonna be test spinning uh, Dragoon MF first. And I'll be launching him in uh, left spin as usual. So let's begin. Three, two, one, rip. Okay, wow. Really nice.
All right, now to test it in right speed. Again, nice. And now for Poseidon. So I'm only gonna launch him in uh, right spin. I know I can also do it in left spin, but I just prefer to use it in right spin because, well, the original Poseidon was, of course, in right spin. So let's begin. Ooh, nice. Really nice. But there you have it. That is both the test spin for Dragoon MF and Poseidon MS. But yeah guys, that's about it for this short unboxing or unpackaging of the 3D printed Poseidon MS and Dragoon MF. Now he did make some other 3D printed Beyblades, which I am planning to get more from him. Like he pretty much made HMS versions of the uh, Bega Blair Beyblades, like Zeus, Venus, Aplon, Gigars, and of course, Poseidon. He's also done HMS versions of Dragoon GT and Dronzo GT, as well as making a Drigger MF and a Drusil MF, since, well, Takara has never made a MF for Drusil or Drusil. Trigger. And he also made a Dragon MS and MSCB and Dronzo MS, among various others. And again, shout out to Benchblade for these amazing looking Beyblades. Because without him, I probably wouldn't have finished my Dragon collection. So not only I completed all of Tyson's Beyblades, minus of course the burst version of Dragon V2, but I also have Makoto's Beyblade, aka Tyson's son. And even though this is like, what, my third Poseidon, I honestly do not mind because personally, Poseidon is one of my favorite Beyblade Beyblades, alongside with Zeus and Apollon. But anyways guys, that's about it for this video. Make sure you guys check out my previous Beyblade unboxings and make sure you're following me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Link will be in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload. So until next time guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.